Welcome to this tutorial on ripple editing in Corel Video Studio. Imagine that after hours and hours of painstaking work, you need to cut out a portion of your video. Even a second or two of video removed from the timeline can offset your entire project, especially if you have music, narration, and overlay tracks. Catastrophe, right? Wrong. Luckily, we have ripple editing. So let's begin. In this example, I brought in my Big Cat slideshow. We've worked on this in other tutorials in this series. As you can see, I have a number of different elements in this project. There's titles indicating the species of each cat, background music, and a title screen. It's looking great! Let's say that I decide that my title appearing on the screen should be a few seconds shorter. If I change the duration from 6 seconds to 3 seconds, look what happens. All the titles indicating the names of the cats are all off by 3 seconds. To move all of these titles is a huge waste of time. I have better things to do with my time, so I'm going to undo these deletions by hitting the key combination control and the letter Z on the keyboard a couple of times and give ripple editing a try instead. I'm going to start by heading off to the left side of the screen beside the timeline video track and clicking on the lock icon. This will activate ripple editing. Here, you can indicate which tracks you want to be locked. Since I have the background music and titles in this video, I'll lock those two tracks in the timeline. Now let's try again. I'll reduce the length of the title background from 6 seconds to 3 seconds, and just look at that. All the cat names in the music track have automatically moved over. Thanks to ripple editing, altering this project took no time at all. Visit learn.corel.com for tons of video and written tutorials, contests, tips, ebooks, and more.